Coaches, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group channel. This is Coach Coltharp coming back to you today. Really excited about today's episode of Air Raid Influencers. Today's guest is Coach Ron Mackey. No, no introduction necessary. Ready for him to drop some nuggets for you today, answering the five questions of our episode. So, hey, if these are the kind of videos you like, if you love this series, man, make sure you like the video, hit subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you know when we go live. Now let's jump into it. All right, coaches, welcome back to Air Raid Nation and episode two of Air Raid Influencers. And so I told you guys when we did the last episode that um, I couldn't start with that with this series without bringing the guy that, that influenced me the most into the Air Raid, and that was Coach Joe Salas. And so when I started thinking about episode two, I thought about who was one of the biggest Air Raid influencers out there right now, and I thought none other than my buddy Ron Mackey. Everybody knows Coach Mackey. Uh, um him and I have collabed so many different times. He really helped me grow our channel and Air Raid Nation, and I'll always be grateful to him. So I thought I would bring him in and let him share some nuggets with you guys. It's the same five questions as always. And if these are the kind of videos you like and you love this series, man, drop a like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell. And, and, and I know Coach Mackey probably would say the same thing about his channel. So many of you guys come in and watch our videos, but only about 40 to 50% of you guys are subscribed. And, and, you know, we do a lot of things on our channel here. You know, we drop, you know, free codes to content and things like that. That. And I know Coach Maggie has a lot of giveaways. And if you're not subscribed and you hit that bell and we put five codes out, you're going to miss a chance to get that code, man. So make sure you do that. But enough of all of that stuff. Let's jump into the episode. And so, Coach Mackey, if you would, question number one, just give us a little one minute intro of who you are. All right. Well, uh, first, thank you so much for having me on. I, I love doing these things. Um, uh, my name is Coach Ron Mackey. I am the offensive coordinator down at Batesburg Leesville High School, right outside Columbia. I've been coaching for 11 years. This is my sixth year as offensive coordinator. And like you said, I have a channel. Uh, you can check it out if you want to. If not, that's fine. I'm here to talk some air raid, buddy. All right. All right, coach. And we'll put a link to coach's channel down in the description as well. Not that you need it, because if you're probably here, you're probably here because of him, because he's that big of an air raid influencer. Stop it. He loves to score points. All right. So, coach, you know, the second question is, uh, you know, where did you actually learn the air raid offense from? Uh, one day I learned it by watching the Texas, Texas Tech game when I was in college. Uh, my buddy and I, we just, crazy story, we, we were watching 24. That was when uh, Blockbuster, you could like, they were doing Netflix before Netflix where you could pay a monthly subscription. Right, and right. You could train, trade out. And we were going through 24 and that disc of 24 ended and we both played chicken of who was going to get up and turn the channel and neither one of us did. So we just watched whatever came on. And it was the Texas Texas uh, Tech game, and I fell in love with the pass there. And I Googled when Google was just starting out, was just a little baby, and I've discovered Chris Hatcher's stuff. So I actually went through the championship productions route of learning it through Chris Hatcher, and that led me to Hal and to, to Mike and all that. So I would have to say Chris Hatcher is the one I originally learned it from. You know, funny, funny thing about that. I um I had texted Coach Hatcher you know, back in the fall um, when we were trying to set up Air Raid Nation, the clinic, you know, that, that we weren't able to hold. And and I didn't hear back from him for about two months. And then all of a sudden I got a text message one day and it was from him. And he called me and he said, he said, George, I look, I, I wasn't ignoring your text message. I just saw it and I got busy. He said, but I wanted to call you. And he talked to me for about an hour, just me and him just chit-chatting. And he That's is awesome. one of the best. He's one of the best guys ever, man. And, uh, <clears throat> Just it was he was one of the ones that I haven't met, but just listening to him and just talk a little bit about ball and life and stuff. He's he's a classic guy. So if you ever guys guys got to get a chance to go down to Sanford and check out Coach Hatchery, man, that'd be a great thing. All right, so question number three, Coach, real quick, what's your favorite concept and why? That's okay. I'm gonna have a cop out. I got two, but to me, they both marry <laughs> up. Uh, stick and corner. Right. And the reason why I like it, it's such a quick game. It's such a quick pass. We've actually completed those plays without blocking a soul. Like the line just messed up and they blitzed and we were able to get the ball off to our playmakers that fast. It's a nice introduction to the air raid. You know, like, hey, you can because you know it when when a lot of people think air raid, they think of 80 yards down the field throwing it. And it's really not. You're throwing it short to the guys that can that can get yards so when those two plays and the reason why they're together is to me I like to call stick when I know it's zone and I like to call corner when it's man and it's kind of the same read for the quarterback so there's my cop-out answer 
Well, hey, that's not a cop out answer, though, coach. You know, I, I tell people all the time stick is probably my favorite concept as well, even though we are 92 mesh group. Um, one of the things that I learned from Coach Napier is is how to combine those two plays pre snap and let your quarterback decide that. And so that's what we're trying to do in the offseason here is we're trying to run inside quick versus outside quick. So our outside quick combo is flat hitch, letting the quarterback kind of decide based on pre snap what we're going to run and doing the same thing with corner stick. And um, and then we'll still be able to call stick or corner, you know, obviously, but then we're going to try to do that. So that's a, that's a great concept. And it's actually one of my favorites as well. All right. Question number four. Um, and I think this is this right here is the is the the nuts and bolts of this air raid influencer series, the reason why I really wanted to do it. What is your best advice or coaching nugget for a new air raid coach? Uh, simplify as much as you can. Uh, that's kind of my, my, my shtick is to simplify and get the essential thing. And COVID has really made me, I thought I was simple to begin with, but COVID has made me like simplify even further, meaning I'm going to, almost basic air raid. I'm running some concepts just to one side of the field, some concepts just at a one formation. Um, I have to struggle, like these past two weeks, we've been in quarantine and it's been a struggle. I'm like, okay, when we get back, I want to add this or I want to do this. I, I still fight it or have that urge because all football coaches want to put in a new play, but you have to fight that and just say, this is what we're going to get great in. I re we're not going to do this other stuff. We're just going to take a handful of plays and we're going to get right at them. And we're going to be better than the defense because we've been doing this more than the defense has defended it. Yeah. And, and I will tell you, I, I was talking to a couple of other coaches yesterday and that's one of the things that, that we all talk about, you know, we preach reps, 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 you know, get 10,000 reps to get to that magic rep. And, but that is, it is so hard when, when you're, you know, you're in and out and things like that. And, 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 you know, I know we're all praying to get back to some sense of normal um, and, 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 and do that and, and hope, and hope this isn't the forever new normal or whatever. All right. So the last question of the series is, is this, um, is, you know, that it's the last play call of your career, you know, for you, you're the head coach in the state championship game. And after a 35 year career and your wife has told you, if you don't come home and go fishing, that you're going to be living by yourself for the rest of your life. So, you know, the game could be on the line if you want it to be, or, or it could just be your last shot. Uh, what, what would your last play call be in your career? All right. So if we're winning, my last play is going to be a kneel. <laughs> okay, great, great one. But if we have to score, if we're in the red zone or the green zone, I like to call it, I'm calling corner. I just, I mean, that's, that, that's my tell. Everybody that goes against me knows at some point when we're in that green zone, I'm going to call corner. We may dress it up different, but right. I, damn it, I'm going to run some form of corner. And I just, I think it's one of the best plays in the red zone. When people ask me, what should we run in the red zone? I know a lot of people mesh or, or, or something, some form of wheels or rub route. I'm like, nah, let's go corner and let's just, we've repped it enough. The kids know it. Let's, let's play ball and win. You know, with this, the funny thing about this interview right here is you could have been asking the questions and I could have been answering them and they would have almost been completely the same. Great I, minds I, think alike. I, I have a, uh, I have a, a great affinity for eight calls. Um, you know, I need to learn how to run nine because I never run it to the left. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know i just um it, it's it's like a warm blanket man and it is so and so so hey, coaches listen i hope you really appreciate coach Mackey coming in and getting getting these nuggets this air raid influencer series is designed to be a really short interview where we just kind of talk and, and and i hope you guys enjoyed him please go check out his channel um there's so much great stuff over there on his website he has all kind of freebies he gives away and things like that as well and um and I can tell you that in, in the air raid community, man, we, we all share. So, it, you know, I don't commit, I don't try to compete with him and vice versa. We all have things that we put out there that we want people to take a look at. I've looked at some of his stuff. His stuff is fantastic. Um, and the great thing about Coach Mackey, I can tell you from, from personal experience, if you hit him up and you have a question, especially on Twitter or something like that, you know, he's going to get back to you. And, and if he doesn't know the answer, he'll hook you up with somebody like Drew or Pat or one of us, and, and we can try to help you with that. So with that being said, hey, man, make sure you drop a like on the video, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, spin it to win.